everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to find your niche or niche or Nietzsche. I don't know how the fuck to say it. A lot of you don't know how to do this and you don't know like what you should be writing and you don't know like the tone of how you should be writing and all this other crap. There are writers who have been writing for decades that don't know what their niche is. And the only reason why this is crucial now more than ever, because honestly, like 30 fucking years ago, you didn't need to have a niche to fucking be a writer. You just wrote great shit. And you can still do that now. You definitely can still do that now. And I hope you all are writing good shit now. But if you want to be able to become successful, if you want to be able to build a fan base, if you want to be able to have a following that is rabid for your shit, you need to have some sort of niche, some sort of, you need to have some type of category that you can like whittle down to because that is how booksellers work now. That is how algorithms work now. And I know it sucks, and a lot of people don't want to fucking do any of this shit. And when you say algorithm or anything like that, people get all... Uh, when you say build a mailing list, people get all... Uh, you have to do these things now. Like, I know 30 years ago, 20 years ago, you didn't have to do these things. But that was then, this is now. If you want to succeed... There are certain things that you have to fucking do. And finding your niche as a writer will not only help you write great shit, but it will keep you excited about writing. So this lesson, or whatever the fuck you want to call this, this was originally an uh, Anarchy Crew lesson. And we did this on a Zoom call, and I was like trying out a couple different things on it. But I, um, was this the one I didn't record? Yeah, this is the one I forgot to hit record on. If you want to get in on any of these like workshops that we do every Friday, run over to or just click the join button. I think it's right here down below um, and you'll be able to do that shit. Maybe it's over here. I don't fucking know. I think I'm backwards on here. Anyway, so the best way to find and here's the thing. If you're writing and you're doing great and like the words are just coming and you're just writing shit all the time. Don't worry about this shit that I'm talking about right now. Don't worry about this until you hit a wall. If you're on a streak right now of writing good shit, the most important thing is, is that you're writing. So just let that flow and wait till you have a lull. And when you have a lull, come back to this video or take notes on this right now and then you could implement it then. But basically what I want you to do is think about you. Think about the stuff you're into. Think about the stuff that you're fucking passionate about, okay? And it can't be writing, and it can't be poetry, it can't be fiction, it can't be any of these things. Think, we already know that you're in love with all that shit, or else you wouldn't be fucking writing. So what are the other things that you fucking are super into, okay? Now, let me give you an example. When I started putting this together and I was trying to think for myself, like how, how does this work? In one of the Anarchy Crew lessons, there's a whole lesson just based on this principle, which is reduce to the lowest common denominator. Fucking math term. I, I can't add or subtract to save my life, but we're fucking doing fractions over here now. But the idea here is, is to find something because you're gonna have ideas. So one of the ideas I had was, well, writing. And I'm like, okay, well, writing isn't going to work. Because, like, again, blah, you know, like, I'm already a writer. We get it. And then I'm like, okay, well, teaching writing. And I'm like, well, again, that's writing. So reduce. I'm like, okay, well, teaching. And I'm like, teaching is something I can work with here. Let's, like, whittle it down even more. Like, what is it about teaching that you like? Whittle, whittle, whittle. And I'm like, well, I guess I like to give people hope that didn't think they could do something before. Like they've been told that they can't do. So I tell them that they can. And I'm like, okay, that's working. That's working. Keep going. Keep going. 
And I'm like, it's kind of like, like an injustice against art when somebody tells you you can't do something. It's oppressive. And then you come out the other side and do it and prove everybody wrong. Fighting injustice, fighting oppression. And in this world, we're talking about artistic oppression. Okay? So artistic oppression is one of my things that I'm fucking passionate about, which is why I fucking do these videos all the fucking time. You know, the whole fucking poetic anarchy thing, like that whole thing started because it was a bunch of things like people tell you this, but you can actually do this. You've been told this, but you can actually do this. The whole fucking thing. And then just the whole poetic anarchy thing, do whatever the fuck you want. Who cares what motherfuckers say? So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So figure out what your like five things you're passionate about are. Okay. Oh, and then like another poetic anarchy lesson course that's on the thing is um, why. Like always ask why to every fucking question. Like whatever thing you fucking say, say why. And then answer that. Just like how I did with the poetry, writing, teaching, injustice, oppression, blah, 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 blah. Like keep reducing, reducing, reducing. But the way to do that is to ask why for each of those things that you come up with. Now, other things that I was coming up with was like professional wrestling, L.A. punk rock, uh, like just the all-time favorites, drinking, sex, that kind of shit. Go through and you find these things that you're passionate about and have this list. And so now whenever you are wanting to write something and you're not sure what to write about, but you, you in the mood to write and you want to start going, start hitting these things. Okay. Start writing these things off of this list. And what makes this list better is if, um, and this like confused the shit out of, some people when I talked about this in the anarchy crew thing, look at the people who you admire as, as a poet. Okay. If we're talking poetry right now, if, we're, if you're watching this, like doing short stories or writing novels, then use your own lens here. But let's say you could think of like your favorite five poets, read your list and look and see if any of your favorite five poets are writing about that same shit. If they are, then the two things here is, is that if they're successful with that, then that might be okay to dive into a little bit. But if it's not like some of the stuff that they're known for, maybe that's not a great niche to go into. But if like you, if one of the things you're really passionate about is caring for dogs or caring for elderly dogs, or something like that. Okay, that's very narrow down. And none of the poets you like write about caring for elderly dogs. Boom! That's like your thing right there. Like, And that doesn't have to be the only thing you do, but that could be something that you really fucking excel at, and that no one else is doing, which makes it uniquely you. You see what I'm saying? The thing that I hate when I do these things like this, these things aren't for everybody, okay? And I hate when I'm teaching people certain things and talking about, like, just writing and stuff like that. And then they get hung up on some of the shit I talk about and then stop writing because they're, like, busy pondering all of this shit, okay? So, like I said in the beginning of the video... If you're already writing and you're doing well right now, do not watch this right now. Come back to this at a much later date because you're doing good right now. You don't need this. But for some of you who feel like you're stuck, this could be one of those things that help you get unstuck. There's tons of things like that. I have so many things on how to get unstuck out of shit. Okay? But if everything's flowing and you're fucking killing it, do not worry about this shit yet. But it might be a good idea on something to put together some sort of like themed book or something like that. 
if you see that there's a hole in the marketplace that could be filled by your book and if you were like talking to publishers or talking to agents having like a really one of a kind idea is really fucking helpful okay so if any of this is helpful if any of this made any sense to you if if any of this rang true to you make sure to hit that fucking thumb for me there and um, join the fucking anarchy crew and you can come do our fucking workshops every week all right so awesome type hard everybody and i'll talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.